Hi, I'm Tom Waite from GundogTrainer.com. Today we're going to be discussing force fetching, which is one of our 15 minute videos to teach you how to force fetch your dog. Now force fetching isn't something everybody wants to do or everybody feels is pertinent, but to get a guaranteed or a finished retrieve, a force fetch is extremely important. Now, as you saw in the other videos with the collar conditioning and teaching a dog to turn off pressures and training, what we're doing here is we're going to teach the dog to turn off the pressure and this, in this case is going to be just an ear irritation or an ear pinch. The dog's not getting hurt, but what it's doing, it's being taught to turn off the pressure accordingly to open its mouth and take a bumper or, you know, in this case, a, an obedience dowel or a bumper to go through start the process. We always start force fetching in this sort of fashion on a table. You can do it on, in your chair. You can do it on a picnic bench in your backyard. There are a lot of options. You don't need a lot of room. You don't need a lot of space. But what you're doing is you're, in, in essence, teaching your dog what's now acceptable from a retrieving standpoint. To me, as a professional trainer, I don't believe that if a dog runs out, picks something up, a ball, a bumper, or birds, and comes halfway back and spits it out, that that's a retrieve. What we're teaching is we're teaching the dog exactly what we want, how we expect it to happen, and we're going to show you guys exactly today how for 15 minutes every day you can make your dog a, a finished and polished retriever. Now this is Ruby. She's about an eight month old black Labrador. She's never been on the table here before. She's out of her element. She's up off the ground. She's a very soft dog. We're going to show you a few dogs throughout this to show you how different dogs react different ways. We're going to start off by trying to get her a little bit more kind of in tune to being here. I'd like her to be sitting, but she may not do that, so we have to help her sit. Sit. Good girl. You can see she's kind of petrified being here. This has never been done to her before, so what you guys are going to see is the same thing you would do from the very first day you start this on. Now, Ruby's a good bird dog. She's been introduced to birds. She's been introduced to the collar and a few other processes in our first 15-minute trainers, so she's ready for this next step. We start off by taking these three fingers, hooking them in the dog's collar here, the concept is that of a halter of a horse. The dog can't pull away from you. She's pretty much under my control and my direction. I take the ear. I get it in, be in between my index finger and my thumb. Now from here down the ear is the most sensitive part of their ear. You don't want to be inside of her ear. You don't want to be in the cartilage on her ear. You want to be on the outside. Now remember, the dog may show some discomfort, but what we're doing is we're teaching this dog to turn the pressures off in training. We start with a basic command, which is fetch. We give her the pressure, fetch, fetch, not changing the terminology. Now this dog's taking a lot of pressure. Fetch, what I'm gonna do is take my index finger, slide it between her canines as I'm giving her pressure, fetch, slide the bumper in her mouth. As soon as the bumper's in her mouth, I release the pressure on the ear. So this dog, from a standpoint of holding a bumper, is gonna be pretty simple. But the problem we're going to have throughout this process is getting her to open her mouth due to the pressures and stuff involved. Now the only way we're going to be able to do this is through the pressure. 